how to set an exterior door. Get it up next to the opening and pull the multiple nails on the jam, which will release the door. Then, what you do is take the hinge side and slam it up next to the double king, the king and the trimmer. Put a screw in it. Pull the factory Phillips out and put in a long three inch screw in each hinge all the way down. This particular door, when I shut the door, it sprung open real bad. So what I did was I shimmed the outside of the door, which moves the frame away from the outside edge of the door. So this, this frame was sitting like this, so the door was hitting the frame, and it was springing and pulling on the hinge. So what I did was I shimmed the outside, and now it will sit comfortably without springing out four inches. So there's that. Then usually on the tops, you'll see there's a, there's a no gap and then it goes to a gap, right? So a lot of doors on the top. So what you'll want to do is grab a couple hinges or a couple shims and sh shim those babies up there. And take a hammer and tap that baby over until that baby opens up just like that. So there, so I'll put a screw in that at a later time. Now the hinge side, or the handle side, you're looking for the reveal all the way down. So then what you do, okay, so after the, the hinges, hinge side screw to the board and you get it so it's not sprung, you're looking at this top reveal. Top reveal, this one was low. So what I did was I put a shim on the handle side which raises the header and what you're looking for is that nice seal along the top of the door. You don't want this touching and then, then that side's wide open. Try to get it even as the factory has done for you already. So once you get that done, you shim it to the proper height. Then what you'll do is the hinge side Put a couple shims and what you're trying to do is get the same reveal that you have on this top so we made this reveal here the same we're going to follow this reveal from the top because this top piece is tight so this gap can't get any bigger and you just follow that all the way down to the bottom and then what you'll do is you'll put some screws in there and that'll set that and how you set those screws is on this hinge side, just pull that foam back. And you'll stick your screw gun in there. And that's how you'll put your, your shims or your screws for your door on that side. And once you get that set, <clears throat> what I usually do is I'll come out here and I'll pre-drill and screw that kind of in at an angle you're going to put a screen door on here anyway well i am and so i'll screw this brick mold oh probably four different sides and then one on the header and the one on the header will keep it from dropping down and then we will take a tape uh which is and what we're gonna do <clears throat> is i like to slice the top of the type bar about an inch up from the door and then we're going to feed some tape in an L so it goes above the door like this. We'll basically be sitting hold on, we'll pop. and so once you get that piece of tape you'll put it over to the edge of the door so your J trim will usually cover that and cover the side and now the top you'll do the same thing so run the sides up first then the top I usually cut a one inch cut about three inches out or past the tape on the side of the the door and then I'll run it up under the tie part and all the way across and then I'll roll it down and then the J channel will cover that 
And that's it. Cut your shims off, set your doorknob after you get all those screwed in, and you have an exterior door set. It was it literally only take you 20 minutes.